So Campbell, Gooch, Kim, Johansson. Well, the point you made about the difficult uh, start is right onto the back of Kim there as Nicky Gooch and he's in fourth place. Remember, four and a half laps uh, in the race and the first two only go through to the final. Quite surprising that, oh, Nicky Gooch has gone down. Martin Johansson still in second place, chased hard by Kim. Well, such disappointment again, Campbell's up there and so is uh, Kim in second place and in third place is uh, Johansson. And there goes the, the bell for well, just over 110 metres to go. And Campbell, Derek Campbell, the Canadian, comes through. And so does uh, Kim in second place with Johansson in third. Well, sadly, no British interest, as you've seen in the final of the 500 metres. And it's uh, there's a fellow, Derek Campbell, one of uh, two Canadians. Uh, Fred Blackburn's already been introduced and uh, Kim Republic of Korea and this fella Mirko Veerman of uh, Italy is the world all round uh, rather the world record holder he set those uh, times in uh, Beijing in 1993 there's the lineup the Korean and the yellow and blue on the inside then the two Canadians and right on the outside the Italian four and a half laps of the second. someone in advance of the line a little early and uh, Derek Campbell got third place in the 1500. He's the only man in the points uh, as far as these finals are concerned so far. Just let me remind you that uh, it is an overall world championship, this, and uh, points are given for success in finals in each of the events contested, and those points added up at the end of the weekend of competition, and then there is an overall world champion. And uh, so Campbell in good position at the moment. So Kim Ki-hoon, the Olympic 1,000 meter champion in lane one, and it was his false start. And a second false start. Now, who was that? Did that, was that Campbell? They're very anxious to get away. We've said several times about, uh, let's have a look. Well, it was on the outside. It uh, was the world record holder, Vilema. And uh, wearing the number 44 won this event in 1993, as I said, in world record time. He's uh, very, very quick. Silver medalist in the Olympic Games ahead of Nicky Gooch, over 500 metres in Lillehammer recently. So. Ooh, another false start now. I think a different... Uh, Competitor has been involved each time, and uh, that was uh, Fred Blackburn. So very, very edgy indeed. And uh, I tell you, Ken uh, Pendry, the chief referee, looking on as they get away for the third time, the fourth time, really. And so into the lead goes Derek Campbell, the Canadian. In second place, Blackburn. In third place is Villeman. Villeman will look to attack soon. And uh, Kim in fourth place at the moment. Well, Canada one and two, and there's the Italian. What a beautiful move on the inside. He got through, but then lost momentum, and the two Canadians came through on him again. And the lead still held by Derek Campbell. And Villeman trying to charge on the inside. One lap to go. Campbell leads. Villeman in second place, and Blackburn in third. Blackburn now moves into second place. And this is Campbell at the front, and Blackburn, Blackburn takes him round the outside, and Blackburn gets it. Campbell in second place, uh, Kim in third, and Villeman, the Italian, a disappointing fourth place for him. But what about that? That was a superb skate, wasn't it? Fred Blackburn, the Canadian, and Derek Campbell, two superb competitors, a big smile on the face of Mirko Villeman, the man who likes to lead, but he never got a chance here. Fred Blackburn of Canada, as the champion at 500 metres. Well, congratulations due to him. It really was uh, a wonderful performance. He won the B final, remember, in the 1994 Olympic Games. Let's just have a look at this. Well, Kim away very slowly, the Olympic champion at uh, 1,000 metres. But the Koreans do like to skate from the rear. Mirko, uh, Mirko Vilemann doesn't get the opportunity at the start to get into the lead. And the Canadians took it on. There was some real jostling, and it looked at one stage as though Veerman here had got through 
on the inside. And watch the reaction of the Canadians here. Watch this. Comes right through on the inside of him. Brilliant skating by Derek Campbell. And then Blackburn started to come through and take him on. The Canadians tactically were absolutely brilliant. And once they came into the straight, they were totally in command. The Italian just didn't get a look in, and Kim didn't either. He made an effort here, had to change, couldn't get through. And uh, it was a Canadian uh, a victory. And that means five points in the overall World Championship situation. So Blackburn has five points, Campbell has five points uh, overall. Che has five from the 1,500 metres. So there are three men at the moment tying overall uh, for this uh, world title, but there are more events to come. But uh, Blackburn and Campbell in that 500 metres uh, showed what great skill there is. This track just 111.12 metres around, and the bend's very tight indeed. And uh, attacking into the first bend of vital importance, but the race was much more than that. It had far much more than that and uh, there was a real tactical battle going on. Well, Blackburn, from Campbell, from Kim, they're the one, two, three, and it was a very, very fine race. Well, in the women's 500 final, the Chinese have three of the five competitors in the lineup. They were disappointed not to win gold in any of the events in Lillehammer, but now have a very strong chance at the World Championships. Here's Stuart. Three Chinese, one Italian, one Canadian. The Canadian, the overall world champion, already in good form with the second place in the 1500 meters. Four and a half laps of the track then, the final of the women's 500 meters. The Chinese uh, hustling to the front, uh, and I think that's Yang Yang. Fifth in the Olympic 1000 metre final, and uh, Caplini, the Italian, goes through into the lead. In second place is Yang Yang. In third place is Wang Shulan. And then, uh, oh, and Wang Shulan has gone. And the Canadian Lambert has really got to go now. Caplini leading. Two laps to go. 9.65 for that last 111 metres or so. And coming up to one lap to go, you heard the bell. Caplini. Looking in very good form indeed. Lambert, uh, the Canadian in second place. In third place is Yang Yang of China. And Conclini, what a superb stake. Conclini wins it. Lambert in second place. Yang Yang in third. And in fourth place, uh, Su. And in fifth place, Wang Shulan. The fall up, but a big, big smile on the face of Marianella uh, Conclini. Has done so well in the European Cup competitions and now she has a major championship uh, win. And the celebrations begin. Let's just have a look at this from the start. The Chinese are really motoring, weren't they? And uh, Wang Xiulan broke through and then was pushed out of the way by Yang Yang. And uh, Conclini, though, skated wide and found the gap and got into good position at the right time and look at that for a little break into the straight superb uh, tactical skating there from the Italian and really she was less troubled than she might have been in this race and uh, Lambert tucked in in fourth place there's the fall Lambert once again having to maneuver herself um, out of the way and that's Wang Xiulan and it left uh, Canclini and Lambert free to skate on, along with Yang Yang. There it is again. Just tipped the skate of Yang Yang, in fact. It was a teammate. Canclini, 47.09. Lambert, 47.43. And Yang, 48.16. They're the official times. 
Well, our next sport has uh, a little less physical contact. It's no less frenetic. Table tennis. The European Championships are back in Britain for the first time since 1966 at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. England were the runners-up in the team event two years ago in Stuttgart. This week, 44 countries took part. And despite a fine performance, England were beaten in the semi-finals by the holders and world champion Sweden. Sweden play France for gold, that match shortly. But we're concentrating on the playoff for third place between England and Germany. It's the best of seven matches, six singles and...